What's up with you? For today's video, we're a full Slake Off Evolution team. So we got Slake Off, Vigor Off, and Slaking. A pretty interesting team. I really do like uh, this evolution line, especially uh, the Slake Off. So we got the abilities Vital Spirit, which only Vigor Off gets, and Truant. And that's it. And Truant's a terrible ability. So I had three battles to this team, which I thought were really cool, and hope you enjoy. If you do want your own custom theme team or poker one sweep, you can check it out at patreon.com slash remdive. The link's in the description of the video, tier two and above. Uh, this first battle, this is against uh, Tavo, and we have a Chatot lead. Chatot's actually got a quite a nice shiny. It's little wings, uh, it's like a, uh, a pinky red color. So my first poker one is going to be Vigoroth, and this is going to be a special Vigoroth. So, we've got the EV spread has max speed and max special attack with Tim and Nature. I've got Work Up, Ice Beam, Uproar, and Flamethrower. So, I tried to give this some moves that would uh, be able to hit like a lot of various targets. And I got the item on it, uh, Silk Scarf, and of course, we've got Vital Spirit. So, that's one thing with this Everline. They're good Pokemon, right? But the abilities are really, really bad. I mean, not so much Vigor Off, but definitely Slake Off and especially Slay King. So Chatup's gonna go down to an Ice Beam. That was awesome. So that was one hit right there. So with the work up, I can boost my special hack too. It also sort of masks that I'm running a, a special set. Next Pokemon is going to be Kecleon. And uh, Kecleon's also shiny too. I can see that little blue strip around his uh, stomach there. And we're gonna go for Uproar here. So Uproar is the best stab on the special side that I've got. And now we got a Protein Kecleon with Rain Punch. And that's going to be very, very scary because that's gonna be stab. And it's going to be able to heal itself at the same time. So, bye bye, Vigor Off. It was a pretty good performance there. Unfortunately, Kecleon's got a good amount of uh, you know special defense that there's right. I never really expected it to use one shot. Next Pokemon is going to be Slake Off, and this is my favorite shiny out of all three. In fact, I'll say Slake Off is the best shiny. All the other ones are kind of disappointing. So, I wish they all kept that pink color. You know, like why? Why not? So we've got Slash Hammer Arm, Night Slash, and Aerial Waste. I'm running a Choice Band set. I've got max uh, max attack and max health here. So it's got a lot of base health, so I thought it should be able to live a drain punch, and it did. I was like, awesome. So I actually went for an area waste here. I wanted to see how much damage it would actually do to Kekalon, because Kekalon's defense isn't really all the greatest in the world. And uh, here goes, look at the area waste. Excellent damage, but it wasn't quite enough to take it out. Kekalon is going to finish me off here with a drain punch. Slake off obviously is, uh, is loafing around that turn. So bye bye, Slake off. A pretty good performance there, but unfortunately, Kekalon. On just had a little bit too much uh, bolt to be able to one shot the air waste is kind of like bad in uh, base power too. Next Pokemon is going to be my second Vigor Off. Now this set's pretty good. I've got a let me just check up here. We got a Protect Facade uh, Work Up. Sorry, uh, we got Facade Reversal Bulk Up and Slack Off. I was going to use Protection before, but I thought I'd use Bulk Up instead. And we're going to use Bulk Up, so that's going to make my uh, defense plus one and attack plus one. So I'm going to be able to live that Drain Punch a lot better, and my attack is going to be like a lot higher too. So that'll be really, really good. So we've got the uh, Toxic Orb on here as well. That's going to double the base power of Facade, which is going to be very, very powerful too. And it's going to give me enough health to be able to you know, at least take a couple of Pokemon out, hopefully. So my EV spread is Jolly Nature, Max Speed. Really, really good to run Max Speed. Definitely on Slaking and Vigor off they really like running max speed and we've got max attack so the item as you know is toxic orb and we've got the, with the vital spirit so pretty easy on this uh sort of line so unfortunately i don't have any moves to really hit it with it's kind of limited on the uh you know hitting ghost types on that side i think it's got like thief or maybe yeah i think it's only like thief it's very very limited especially on bdsp so i had to swap out the vigor off there uh driflin's gone for a thunderbolt on my slaking swapping in there and now i can see it's got the flame orb so it doesn't have the uh, flare boost ability now this this slaking, this is a Giga Impact Brick Break Night Slash Play Rough Set. I've got Max Speed and I've got Max Stack of Jolly Nature and I've got Expert Belt as the item. Now, unfortunately, it's going to go for a Hyper Beam. It's a Hyper Beaming Balloon here, people. And boy, this did a lot of damage taking out Slaking in one shot. I did sustain some damage earlier on, which didn't help too. And Slaking Special Defense isn't all that great. It's got good, like most of the other stats are really good, but it's got a little bit of a bulk on the defensive side. So we're going to swap in the Slake Off from... Uh, oh, wait, you haven't seen this Slake Off. This is the uh, Focus Sash uh, counter set. So we've got Body Slam... Shadow Claw and Rock Tomb. This is max attack and max speed and Adam and Nature. So that's going to be the end of the Drift Limb because it was on recharge from the high beam earlier on. So at least I got rid of that in the end. 
Unfortunately, I lost my slaking, one of the best Pokemon on my team. Uh, next Pokemon here, this is Tangrove. So like, okay, Tangrove, this is going to be very bulky. And it's probably going to be hitting reasonably hard too. So swapping out Slakebomb and going into Vigoroth here. Now, Vigoroth, I felt like it could probably leave one attack really badly. Here comes Poison Jab, and Poison Jab is not going to be able to take me out there. I am going to probably faint on the next turn, so like, it's fine. So I can go for Facade here. And as you can see, Tangrove is extremely bulky there and you know, hardly even scratched the surface with my attack. So that's going to be the end of Vigoroth. But I guess some damage was better than none. Now, I've got some options here. I can go back into Slake Off and think, well, they might use Poison Jab, or I can go to Slaking. Now, this is my other Slaking, and this is a special Slaking. So we've got Hyper Beam, Shadow Ball, Fire Blast, and Blizzard. Now, Slaking gets, being a normal type, gets a lot of selection of different types of moves. And we're going to be running a Choice Spec set here. I've run this in the past. It's a pretty fun set. It's got some nice surprise factor too. So go for Fire Mist there and it lands. And that is going to be the end of Tangrove. The thing about Tangrove, its special face isn't really that good. So I definitely took advantage of that there. So bye-bye. Next Pokemon is going to be Garchomp. Now, I am on Truant at the moment, but it's... It's not like I can really swap out. It's like, you know what? I'm going to have to sack it. So let's go into Slake Off here. I'll just, you know, sack the Slake Off and then I'll go for maybe a high beam. Dual Chop misses. Like, this is awesome. So what I did, right, is I swapped the Slake out again and then I went back into Slaking, right? Because I can conserve my Focus Sash, which is going to be good. So now Garchomp's going to go for a Poison Jab. So it's got Poison Jab and Dual Chop. So interesting sort of set there. Slaking's going to eat that like a snack. Out speeding there with the Timber Nature and Blizzard one shots of Garchomp. That's awesome. Now, Slaking's got a lot of base speed, you know, like it's a very, very good Pokemon. Like, you could give it almost any other ability and it'd be so overpowered. Next Pokemon is going to be Inferno up here. Now they're going to go for a Mac Punch, and Mac Punch is not going to do enough damage. They're probably going to need to go for something a bit more powerful like close combat, but I don't know if they've got that. So I'm still uh, locked into Blizzard here. Blizzard does excellent damage to uh, the Inferno. But I don't miss anything, which really helps. Now it's going to go for Poison Jab. Poison Jab does le less than Mac Punch, but they do get a lucky little poison there. Uh, so Slaking is going to obviously faint to a, a Mac Punch this turn anyway. So bye-bye Slaking, but excellent performance there, taking out the uh, Garchomp and softening up that uh, Inferno. So my last Pokemon on the team is going to be Slaykothia. And as you know, I've uh, got my Focus Ash intact still, and I can go for a counter. Here comes a Thunder Punch there. Thunder Punch, it doesn't really matter what it uses. I'm going to be able to take it out with a counter. And now, my friends, is the very first battle. Hope you enjoyed a very, very close battle there. Quite an important moment there where Garchomp missed with Dual Chop too, because Dual Chop was an excellent card to my Focus Sash set. All right, let's get on to battle number two here. This is against Marinette, and we got a Vespigan lead. Once again, people, if you do enjoy the videos too, please drop a like and a comment on the video. It really, really helps me out, and it helps you out too, because you can see uh, all the videos in your subscriptions much easier. So uh, now Vespigan, right? I thought, let's go for an Air Oasis here. Let's see how much it's going to do. Excellent damage from Air Oasis. Unfortunately, the Vespigan is going to be eating a berry there, uh, getting its health back. So I'm going to need two more air oasis to take it out. The thing about this is, right, I've got Truant ability, so I'm going to have to, like, basically wait an extra turn in between each attack while Best Winders can, can be, like, continually attacking me over and over and over again. So we got another air oasis. It was close, but it just wasn't enough. Uh, now Best Wind can go for yet another bug bite here, and it's going to be able to go for another one because I'm truanting this turn. It's kind of funny that I outsped this Best Wind too. Then again, your Best Wind's not very fast either, so... Bye bye, Slake Off. An excellent uh, effort there. If it didn't have the berry, yeah, I was definitely going to uh, win that matchup. Next Pokemon is going to be Vigoroth there. Now, Vigoroth can just do any move. I was thinking about going for the uh, a bulk up there, but just in case it had some other scummy move or something annoying like maybe Tailwind or anything along those lines, um, I didn't want to risk it, so I just took it out. Now we got a, uh, a very scary Pokemon. It's going to be Sizzle. So I was like, well, uh, I don't really know if I want to swap out here. It might have a fighting move. So I went for Facade there. Pretty good damage when you think about it. And now Scissor's going to go for Sword Dance. Scissor was going to get a Sword Dance up regardless if I stayed in or swapped. So I definitely couldn't help that one. So now I've got the uh, Toxic uh, Orb uh, going here. It's going to be damaging me. I can go for Facade again. That's what I did. It's got Technician Bullet Punch. Holy smokes. I only just lived that one. It was so close. And I got the Facade off there. Excellent damage once again to uh, Scissor. Now Scissor is going to have a Berry. And it's going to be healing itself up. So that's good. At least I got rid of the Berry. That was uh, quite a good thing. Uh, I'm going to faint to the Poison this time. So bye-bye. Vigor off, but excellent uh, effort there against a uh, you know, using not very effective moves, right? So I've got Scissor with plus two. I have to swap in Slake off here. I have to take this thing out right now. Otherwise, it's just going to like mow through my team. Here comes X Scissor. That's the end of uh, the Scissor because I can go for the uh, Focus Sash and the Count here, and that will be enough to take it out. I'm glad that Scissor didn't go for Sword Dance then because. 
I would have had to swap, you know. So bye bye scissor. That was a very, very scary Pokemon. Next Pokemon is a Beedrill. And you might be able to notice a theme team here. Now, speaking of scary Pokemon, this was bad. It's gonna go for a Fell Stinger, and that's gonna be the end of Slake Off. And the Beedrill is going to get an instant plus three in the spot. Now I thought about swapping Slake Off out there, but it's not really fast, you know, like. I could have swapped another Pokemon, but I was like, well, I'll just go into Slaky. I know that I can outspeed Beedrill. So I go for the Fire Blast there in case it had a Focus Ash, and it did have a Focus Ash. Like, okay, please burn. Please, please burn. So unfortunately, no burn there. Uh, quite a low chance, I guess. And uh, now it's going to go for Endeavor. So their strategy was to have the Focus Ash and the Endeavor and then the Fell Singer. So I swapped out the Slaking on one health. I didn't want to lose it. And then I went into Vigoroth because I knew I'd be able to outspeed this Beedrill afterwards. Uh, the problem here is Beedrill is going to use Fell Stinger on my swap, obviously, because I was on one healthy Slaky, and that's going to take my Vigoroth out in one shot there, so this is very bad. So now it's got plus six in attack here, and it can one-shot my entire team easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the Slaking with one health, and I'm just going to go for a Shadow Ball and take it out there. And, like, the good thing is I could outspeed it. Like, Beedrill is very, very scary with Fell Singer. Very good Pokemon there once it gets them going. Uh, so that's the end of that. So we had Scissor and Beedrill. So, man, like, these are tough. Next Pokemon is going to be Scyther. I'm truanting at the moment. I don't really want to swap out here, and it's going to finish me off with a Air Slash. So it's Special Scyther. So at, le at least it's not a physical one. Like, I, I after that Scissor, and Beedra, I was already like very, very scared whether I could even take any more of these Pokemon out. So I'm going to go to my last Pokemon, which is Slaky. Now, this is my Giga Impact set. I've popped the Giga Impact here and it's landed, and no way Scyther is going to live that one there. I mean, Giga Impact and Retaliate were virtually made for Slaking, in my opinion. Like, they're perfect moves, right? So, bye bye, Scyther. Next Pokemon is going to be Venomoth. So, Venomoth, um, the good thing about it, I can actually outspeed these Pokemon too. Um, Venomoth is going to go for a Quiver Dance there, boosting its special attack, uh, speed, and special defense. Special defense is not going to really matter too much there. So, wait for the Giga Impact again here. Uh, Venomoth's gone for a uh, Sludge Bomb there. Didn't poison me, thank goodness. Giga Impact is going to land there. That is going to be the end of Venomoth. So Slaking is just like destroying these last few Pokemon. The only bad thing is I have to loaf around for one turn. So i got to get hit before I can hit, you know? Last Pokemon is going to be the Unmega. I actually outspeed that too. It's going to go for a Giga Drain. That's not enough to actually attack to take it out. And uh, it's going to get a Speed Boost there. Now, the Unmega Speed Boost is pretty much going to win at the game there. And it's going to out speedy if it didn't if it didn't have speed burst slaking would have uh you know outsped it there but uh a very very close game there could considering i almost got swept like twice there <laughs> and uh thank you for the battle marinette i thought that um that beedrill was gonna uh, get through my team or the scissor you know um good thing i had the focus ash and counter slake off earlier on uh let's go on to the third and final battle here this is against a cop my and we've got a pretty interesting team here i wonder if you can guess what it is I'll be uh, surprised if you can. So first Pokemon is going to be Gravelite. And it's popped the double team turn one. I was like, oh no, not not Scum turn one. And Hammer Arm misses. I'm, so I'm starting to get a little bit salty here. So I'm going to swipe out the Slake off, right? I might be able to use it a little bit later on. So I went to the Vigor off. Now this was the special Vigor off uh, you seen earlier on. I thought, well, Ice Beam will be good, you know. And plus I won't have like Truant, which will be really, really annoying. So uh, Graveler's gone for a second double team here. All I gotta do is land one ice beam, unless it's got sturdy or something like that, right? So I've got my ice beam ready to go. There's no point going for like a status move there. I just wanna take this thing out. Like, I don't even know what strategy it's gonna be, but I don't really wanna stick around either. So go for ice beam there. It, it, it lived, it didn't have a sash or sturdy. It's like, what? And then it used Fire Mist. It's like, wow, it's a Fire Blast Graveler. Only on Pinot Channel. So I was like, you know what? Since I missed so many moves against it, I'm going to disrespect it with Flamethrower, you know? And then Flamethrower miss, and then Fire Blast miss. Like, what is going on in this battle? Then Flamethrower is going to land here, and that is going to be the end of Graveler. So I've got no idea what, you know, Graveler... Was that... Was his name Gravy? Or, yeah, Gravy. Gravy Graveler. Imagine getting your steak right, and just pouring on a gravel on your steak. Like, you'd be so crazy. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Omanite here. Now, as you can see, I'm completely walled and I have to swap out here like none of my moves are going to do anything so swapping out vigor off and going into the slake off now this was the choice band instead so I was like well I should be able to you know take this thing out in one shot with you know a good old hammer arm right so it's gone for the surf here on my slake off and it just dropped me I was like damn like is maybe that's choice bands but I wasn't 100% sure just yet I thought I'd be able to uh, live that kind of like okay but I'm definitely thinking now that it's choice specs so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Slaking here. Now, this is the Expert Belt Slaking 
uh, with max attack. So I went for Brick Break. I was like, well, that's going to easily take Omanite out, unless it's got a Sash. But I don't believe it's Sash, because it's definitely got our Specs. It didn't take it out. I was like, what? And then it's gone for a Surf here. And as I said before, I definitely thought that I had Choice Specs after seeing the damage, and it definitely does. So I've got to swap Slaking out now. I'm getting, like, destroyed by Omanite, and I'm going to go into Vigor off. Like, man, who do I swap into here? This is difficult. I'm going to have to sack off my next Vigor off. Like, this thing is a threat. So uh, we're going to have a, yeah, another Surf for Omanite here. The main problem here was me having so many Pokemon with Truant, because when I attacked right, then I had to take another hit or sacrifice another Pokemon. And I didn't really want to sacrifice my Slaking, you know? So we're going to go back into the Slaking from before that had Brick Break, and I can then, uh, you know, simply use that again uh, to take out the Omanite. But that was, uh, that was, I believe, judging on what the damage and the bulk uh, that it was doing, I'd say that was max health and max special attack Omanite, like, modest or something like that, like, or in, with a choice specs. I, I believe that definitely was what the EVs were, judging on the damage that it did to my Pokemon. Next Pokemon's Caterpie. I've got to swap. <laughs> I can't do anything. And I'm going to go into Vigor Off. So, like, I guess it's perfect, right? I can uh, get these, uh, you know, stat boosts going. So, uh, it's going to go for a Bug Bite there. That's pretty good damage for me. And the Poison is going to kick in there. So, um, I didn't want to swap in a Pokemon with a Berry either. That would have been very bad. Not that I've got one, but... Um, now I can go for Facade and take the Caterpie out in one shot. Then it had a Quick Claw. I'm like, what? So you didn't have a, uh, like a Choice Band and a Quick Claw. And now it's going to go for a Quick Claw String Shot. That's actually a pretty good move because Vigoroth is invested in speed. So I'm going to be able to get outsped by like uh, a lot of Pokemon now. Uh, and then String Shot drops your speed by two as well. It's actually a very good uh, move at dropping your speed. So that's the end of Caterpie there. At least I took a Caterpie out in a children's game Pokemon. Now we've got three more left. And the next Pokemon to come out of it is going to be Raddy. And Raddy is going to be Renico. Now, maybe, maybe, if you can guess this theme team as well, leave it below in the comment section, of course. I always like to see if people can guess. Now, Raddy's going to go for a flame wheel here. I was like, okay, well, that's not going to take me out. I almost did swap out there, but I thought, no, nah, I'm just going to go for the side again and take the Raddy out. I thought I could probably leave one attack for that, and I did. So, bye-bye, Raddy. So, I've got two more Pokemon left to deal with here. Um, I can probably fire off one more facade. Then out came the Pikachu. I'm like, mm, I don't think I'm going to outspeed Pikachu. Uh, but I don't really want to swap out either. So I let Vigoroth die there. And that's fine. Because I can easily swap in one of my others. So Vigoroth did an excellent job. And uh, Pikachu's got Life Orb. Like, dang, this thing's stacked. So I'm going to go into Slaking right here. Oh, yeah. This is a Slaking for earlier on that failed to take out an Omanite. I'm not joking either. Like, this is Max Attack and Max Speed. And it was Jolly Nature, by the way. So I've got um, Giga Impact. And I've got other moves like you know what i'm just gonna use giga impact i'm gonna have to you know loaf around the next turn anyway so go for giga impact on the pikachu and that's probably gonna take out pikachu's entire family tree let's be real so bye bye pick now there's only one pokemon left here and it's gonna be uh Do dodo or dotty dotty the dojo so i'm recharging this turn uh dodo is gonna go for an acupressure now acupressure randomly raises a stat by two and i was a little bit worried i was like what i was gonna get it got a defense rise like wow so is it gonna be bulky so at this stage, it's like, well, I can go for Giga Impact here. That'll do a lot of damage. I feel like I'll still be able to take it out because there's no Everlight in the game, remember that? So going for Giga Impact on the Dodo, and it, it, it lift. I was like, damn, because it's got a Focus Ash. So I was like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. So now Dodo's going to go for another Acupressure. So I was like, okay, as long as it doesn't get like a speed or an attack drop, I should be fine. And then it got another defense drop. It's got plus four in defense right now. So it popped a drill peck there, and it almost took me out. So at this stage, I'm actually going for a Giga Impact, and it's got quick attack. So it's going to outspeed my slaking. So bye-bye slaking. So what I've got left here, I've got a slake off, and I've got a slaking left. So like, okay, well, it's going to use a physical move. I'll just go for counter and, you know, finish it off right there. I obviously won't be able to outspeed Dodo. It's got pretty good speed right there. And, uh, yeah, I can't go for Shadow Claw. I mean, I can go for Body Slam or counter, but since it, like, it doesn't really matter, I can just go for counter and take it out, right? I definitely should have gone for Body Slam, but then again, if I did go for Body Slam, I believe I wouldn't have taken uh, Dodo out here because it went for rest, so it uh, has a way of healing itself up as well. So I decided to go for counter, and it's come back and bit me so i've got to swap out because of truant right um regardless i say it would have lived anyway due to the defense uh rise that i got earlier on so into slake here dodo was fast asleep now this is the special set i've got hyper beam and i've got blizzard well shadow ball can't do anything and i've got blizzard well blizzard will definitely take it out but i believe hyper beam will 
as well. Unless it's got some really weird uh, EVs in uh, health or special defense. So, uh, Guide 5 Beam here on the uh, Dodo, and it is going to land, which is good. And it did get a, like, and Matt, if it got a lot of special defense boost, I might have been worried, but it did take it out in one shot. And that is the end of the game. A pretty dang cool team there. Dodo was a little bit unlucky with the boost it got at the end there. I might have been uh, in a little bit of trouble if we got some attack and speed boost. All right, people. Peace out.